my name is Jamie. I'm a physical therapist here at the Rehabilitation Hospital of Northern Arizona. And we have a special guest joining us today to go over some transfers for people with spinal cord injuries. But first we wanna show you one of the great features of our hospital, which is our transition suite here. It's got quite a few features that are very beneficial for our patients prior to them going home. One of the things is we've got a queen size bed that they can practice transfers and bed mobility on as well as a dresser to practice getting stuff in and out of the dresser when they go home or the closet when they go home. We also have um, a bathroom that is accessible and also has a tub shower so that makes it really nice for people to simulate more of the home environment and the bathroom that they're going home to and really prepare them for going home and being successful in the home. And we are here with Tim Christensen, who is a former patient here, who had a spinal cord injury in November of 2020. He's gonna show us how to complete a slide board transfer from the wheelchair to the bed. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna have to position my chair in order to where it's, the chair is not going to be in the way. The chair is not going to uh, be a problem when you're sliding. First thing I want to do is get a good angle on the bed. I don't want to be too much to the side, facing backwards or forwards. I've learned that just about a, about a 30 degree angle for me is good. So you want to set your chair up at the right position. Next important thing is make sure your brakes are locked. I've been in a position where I go to push off and my chair just goes away from me, so that's not good either. So I'm going to take my board, lift up my right leg, the leg closest to the, the bed or the couch or whatever you're transferring to. Now I use handles on my wheelchair, a lot of people don't, some people don't like them. I prefer them, but they do inhibit the slide. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one and just move it out of the way. Another important thing is foot position. When you're sliding, if your feet are in the right position, they'll tangle up. And that will cause a problem with the slide. Now I prefer this, this board's a little bit different than the ones I use at home. Mine has holes in it so I can grab it with my hands. The one I use just has one. Some of them have one on both ends depending on how long it is. I use a longer board when I get into my car just because of the distance that I have to spin. And the boards are designed with little, I don't know if you can see it through the angle of the board there. You got little ramps here. So you don't want to have, you don't want to be sliding on the flat side. You don't want to be sliding on the ramps because that keeps, I've had a lot of problems with my clothing getting stuck on the board. You know, your pants or whatever will get stuck on a corner. This helps with that if you got it on the right angle. You know, I'm gonna lift my leg up, get that underneath my hip, pick myself up, and slide on over. Now we're gonna transfer back to the chair from the bed. So again, I, anyway, this is gonna be in my way if I don't move it, so I just transfer it, get it uh, out of the way. And I'm going to lift up my opposite leg that I transferred on the left leg this time. And again, you always want to make sure that your feet are in a good position so when you transfer, they're not all twisted up. So again, I got it underneath my hip, lift my weight up, just slide over. Now what we just showed you was the transfer to the bed. Now you're also, there's many transfers that you're going to have to be able to accomplish. There's transfers to your vehicle, transfers to your commode, your shower chair, uh, your couch, wherever you're going to be sitting on. And all of them have a little bit different uh, movements, a little bit different uh, nuances to the transfer. Those are things that you're going to have to learn on your own. You know, the best way for your body to move the best way for you to get to where you need to go. Those things are are basically things that you're going to have to accomplish on your own, and, and it's just it won't take very long. You know, 
know, one thing that you're going to have to learn is, again, body positioning, foot positioning, and board position to wherever you're transferring to. Thanks, Tim, for coming in, and you're thank welcome. you for watching our video. Hopefully this is helpful for everybody.